All right, in order to solve this inequality, we uh, attack this in exactly the same way that we would with an equation. Um, what I'm going to do is consolidate the variables 8x and 17x by subtracting 17 from both sides of this equation. I'm sorry, 17x from both sides of the inequality. I do that uh, to cancel out this 17x right there. And then on the right hand or left hand side over here, I have negative 19. And then 8x minus 17x would give me a negative 9x, which is greater than negative 16. And then um, get that x by itself. So what I'm going to do is add 19 to both sides. And that would leave me with a negative 9x is greater than negative 16 plus 19 is 3. Last steps, and this is an important move for this, is I'm going to divide both sides by 9. So I'm going to divide by, sorry, negative 9. The fact that it's negative is actually very important. There's an important property of inequalities that I'll talk about in half a second here. Let's get this correct here. So this is x on the left-hand side, and then on the right-hand side, 3 divided by negative 9 is negative 1 third when I reduce it. Uh, the important part of this is that when you divide by a negative, so this action I did right here causes us to flip this inequality sign. This is the only difference between inequalities and equations. Okay, not the only difference, but almost the only difference. What I would get now, instead of this being a greater than sign, it's going to be a less than sign. Again, this sign right here flips the other way, it points the other way when I divide by a negative. So again, this action right here is what caused that. Just to step back for a second to make sure it's obvious what I'm doing here is I'm treating this as an equation, just like an equation where this inequality sign is the equal sign, where I'm manipulating both sides by doing some, the same action to both sides. I can do that just like I can do with equations. Again, the only major difference is, is that when I divide by a negative, I need to flip this inequality sign. To finish this up, we usually will answer this with either a number line or an interval notation. The, inner, uh, the number line for this would look something like this. Uh, I got negative one third, less than, strictly less than, so I'd use a parentheses and then a symbol like that would be the, the graphical version. The interval notation of that would be negative infinity to negative one third. Again, we always put the parentheses around the negative infinity, and we put the parentheses around the negative one third here because uh, negative one third is not included in this set.